Hey everyone, it's Gem with Chappie Plants. Thanks for joining me for another Flip Through Friday video. If you'd like to see what I'm gonna share, stick around. Hello friends, what's up Chappie fam? Happy Friday, we made it. I'm, I'm saying that mostly for me though, since Nora's finally back in school because she was quarantined at home for most of the week, which was really fun. <laughs> okay, um, that's not why we're here. We're here to see all the goodies, right? So I had a lovely rep reach out to me and email and ask if I'd be interested in sharing some papers. And I said, yes. <laughs> I am a huge user of all the paper crafting items and goodies. And so I'm not going to say no to trying out and receiving some free paper. It is very affordable. This paper pack is, I believe, $8.99. I will link it down in my description box in case you're interested in checking it out. There are other uh, patterns, collections, um, and sizes. So what I have is a six by six paper pack called Christmas Season. There are 12 designs and you get two sheets of each design. It's 160 GSM weight, acid and linen free, so it's great for documenting and scrapbooking. Or if you just wanna use some pattern papers in your planner like you see me do very often, it would be great for that too. And I'm sure that's what I'll use it for. So let me show you what I chose. Look how pretty. And I really feel like these um, designs coordinate well with Tim Holtz's Christmas collection because he does a very vintage, most of what he creates is very vintage feeling. And so I think that that is totally the vibe here. So the back is just plain white. So two of those. And then this really pretty sage green with the white diamond pattern. And then you have this pretty diagonal maroon burgundy color with the winter florals on the corners, which is stunning. These would be great for like, just like a little scrapbooking page, put a photo in the middle, some maybe alphas at the top and a label for some journaling and you're done. Easy peasy, you know? Uh, you can also cut out individual um, fussy cut things out on the paper that you might wanna use, but I love this one with the cardinal and the evergreen along the edges, the snowflakes and that subtle um, print in the background so pretty and then this one is black with small poinsettias just repeated over and over so that's a really fun pattern these will make great tags great cards material for cards i love this one so much i might fussy cut out some of these and sort of treat them like ephemera or die cuts and use them to decorate a spread with the little cookies so pretty with a pocket watch and everything love it and then this one i'm not gonna lie it's not my favorite this reminds me of like wallpaper and then this is stunning so i wish this was on like white maybe or like a, a pale pink or a light blue or something but this is too much with this in my opinion that's just my opinion maybe other people like it but you know you don't have to love everything right Again, like, I don't understand the socks. <laughs> Other places in the world use socks and not actual store-bought stockings and stuff little treats into. So I'm guessing that's what that is for, but I don't know. This, I mean, this kind of paper might be fun for, like, if you do, you know how they have, like, advent calendars with socks? This might be fun for that purpose or documenting that type of story. But otherwise, I don't really know how I would use this paper personally. Okay, uh, then we have this really pretty, that sage green again with snowflakes and then some florals on the top and some a little scene at the bottom. You've got like a mold cider maybe with some candles and gifts and some mail there. It's really, really pretty. And then we have some white background with presents. Love it. And this is another favorite of mine. It's like a burlap colored background with just your simple evergreen pieces and last but not least this design has okay so yeah they're supposed to be like a stocking i get it 
Um, and then the lantern and the tree with the presents. This is really pretty too. Again, just put a photo right in the middle or you could even like put out a hole, put the picture behind it. Um, be a great way to document, you know, what's in your stocking. So that is everything from this paper pack, Christmas season. It came in a little plastic, um, well, it came in a bubble mailer, but then it was covered with plastic and I, I threw that away. So, but I have a different way to store my paper, so I'm not worried about it getting ruined. So thank you so much to, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's B L E D S Bleds. Uh, that is the brand of the paper that uh, reached out to me. That's the company. So again, I'll link it in the description box if you're interested uh, in checking it out. I think it is a lovely patterned paper set. It just depends on whether or not this is your aesthetic. Okay, moving along to what I purchased from Casey of Pleasantly Planned. I have to pay the extra for the removable sticker paper because you guys, if you watch me, know that I pick up and put my stickers down a million times and I just would go through like bottles and bottles of undo if it weren't for the removable sticker paper. So for me, it's worth it to invest in, you know, the removable. So I have here Hello Pumpkin. I'm going to use this one ASAP, probably in my Passion Planner daily because it is just so pretty and I can see myself using different elements of this sheet in different ways. I also grabbed Woodland Friends because they're adorable. My daughter tried to steal these from me and I was like, no, <laughs> they're mine. I might just have to order her a separate sheet. And Neutral Fall, these florals are gorgeous. And these are the larger size sticker sheets. She does also sell a regular Etsy size style sheet, but I want the big. And then I got Sweater Weather, Sweater Weather so pretty all the different pretty like pinks and oranges and blues different colors than what I'm used to seeing sort of a more pastel feel and last but not least I grabbed the homebody this one's my favorite I just I don't know there's something about the colors this girl with the hat the book with the shoe and the florals in it this little scene like setup I it's just so cozy and feels like perfect November vibes for me. And then I did also get the kit. She does sell colorful boxes that coordinate with each one of these, but I have so many boxes for Mojo Jojo plans that I don't necessarily need them when I think I can come up with my own. However, for this set, I wanted it to be perfectly coordinated and I love the headers and the little washi strips that she includes because they're scalloped and I love the scallop look. So I will definitely be using these soon. I will link Casey's shop. Uh, it's always actually in my description box, by the way, because you can use Chappie Fam to save 15% on your order of $25 or more, which is a really good deal. And sometimes if you sign up for her emails, which you should, she will, when she does releases, give you a special coupon that's even bigger than my own personal code. So, um, you know, you can just tell her that you're coming from my channel, though, just so she knows, like, that you know, I'm sharing her goodies and people are picking up on, you know, picking up on it. But um, yeah, Casey Shop, really good. Lots of new releases all the time. And as you know, most of the inserts I use are from her shop as well. Last but not least, I have a huge haul from my girl Jojo of Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop. She has a very, very large release coming out today. You will be able to go and shop for these items very soon after this video goes live. So she has a very, very big collection. She sent me a few items from it, not all, um, but you can check out her Instagram and her YouTube channel to see what she's created. She did send me this really pretty card that she, again, this is one of her designs, and just thanked me for sharing her new release items and that she included some stickers just for my sweet Nora. So I will show you those first. They are also a re-release re from last year and they were one of my favorite things that got a lot of compliments, a lot of likes on Instagram. So this is a little gingerbread sticker kit. Can you handle this? I can't. I'm like, okay, these are for Nora Jen. These are not for you. Uh, they're adorable. Like I made my own, if I can, if I can find the photo, 
of where of my spread where I use these, I will put it up right there. But if I can't, I'm sorry. And you'll just have to get your own and make your own. <laughs> Uh, but this is just, I mean, I remember saying in last year's Plan With Me, it's probably still up on YouTube, that this is way less messy than doing a real gingerbread house. And, you know, in my opinion, more fun. But that's that's me because, of course, I'd rather play with stickers than candy. I like to eat the candy. So thank you, Jojo, for sending these to Nora. That is so, so generous and very sweet of you. Okay. And then... This is the modern. Oh my gosh, this this is new and I'm like dying. Okay, you get this cute little freebie. Can we talk about this lantern with the candle? Look at the detail. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it looks like it's been melted a little bit. It's so pretty. And you got the little tree. Thank you for supporting my small business. Love Jojo. I love you too. So this is her mini kit. I love look at the fireplace and it's so funny I literally have this basket except it just says Magnolia home or whatever from um Chip and Joanna in my living room it doesn't have little birch wood though because my fireplace is pretend it's got like I don't even know what's in it blankets or something and then the stockings and it's my favorite color it's green so I am completely obsessed with this collection look at the presents I die the pine cone oh my goodness <gasps> so pretty i'm obsessed oh my gosh she did this she did this she did the chair with the detail and the pillow like i want to sit here and like by the fireplace and have my cocoa read a book like yes yes eat a bag of potato chips because that's what I'm really good at doing at night. I, I'm I'm just in love. In love. And the last sheet are these beautiful like ceramic looking houses and then these trees. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I'm just like I uh, I'm gonna use it but I don't want to use it because it's so 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 pretty. Okay. Next is this re-release as well, this little cozy winter set. So cute. I love the tree branch with the snowflakes hanging from it and these like looking like um, sewn ornaments and the comfy pillows, the stockings, the sweaters. So pretty. Oh, here, let me move this freebie. I used these last year as well, but I am glad to have another set. And I am... Okay, this is something I did not purchase last year, and I wish I had, honestly. But, like, true story, I really wish I had purchased it. I am really excited about... It's it's simple. It's a calendar, but it is hand-illustrated and crafted by JoJo herself. This is for 2023, obviously. But look. I need one of these, okay? I really do. And I love these designs. Okay, so it comes clipped together. Look, it's on the super thick cardstock. Super thick. It's not going anywhere. Very sturdy. Look at this. I cannot wait to display this in my craft room. It is gorgeous. The blues, she hand draws all these. I honestly feel like she sent me cards that she drew by herself and I get to just display them in my office look at the beautiful font March oh it's so pretty it's like seasonal florals oh my gosh that plum the colors are gorgeous look at May with the tulips that's Georgia's favorite flower oh my gosh <gasps> what I love these little, like, I like how they're opaque and then just, like, lined leaves. Oh, wow. July. Oh, look at the little daisies. I can't. Oh, my gosh. I feel like they keep getting more and more gorgeous. Ooh, September is so beautiful. Look the way the pink and the yellow pop on the back of that, like, bright blue. 
it's like a deep blue but it's also very vivid october is beautiful this is my birthday month oh yay my birthday will be on a friday next year not that it not that it matters when you're a mom it's like whatever <laughs> but that is so stunning with little acorns cute in november we got some mushrooms and leaves oh my gosh the seasonal calendar is giving me so much life december very wintry and then you just have this little backing for your collection now these can be set on a little easel they can be clipped together like this and you can just rest them somewhere or hang them off a pegboard you can also use i saw she has like a magnet so you could put it on the fridge so you can clip it and then it it like it's got a little clippy it's kind of like this but not really like this but kind of like this and it has a magnet and then you can just put it on your fridge or um you could even i'm thinking like my crafty self is thinking you know you save those acetate papers from your happy planner or you can just buy some at michael's or joanne or um take an old divider of a happy planner or something if you're a disc bound planner um or, do, or, you know, make your own, basically, attachment to slide into your planner. And then you could put, like, all important dates on the back, things like that. I don't know. I might next year. So I always do a monthly marker on my Instagram to, like, show, like, break up in my feed. Okay, now we're in February. Now we're in January. All that stuff. I think I'm going to just use these because these are amazing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I don't need to do anything. I just have to take a picture of this, which... I'm happy to do and it's just such a beautiful piece of artwork to have I'm so thankful that she sent this to me I really am I am so excited about it okay now last but not least from Jojo I'm not going to open all these but she did two advent calendars because she is bananas and <laughs> and she's a workaholic but in the best way um she did a floral advent calendar which i did share last year and she also did a like luxury 12 day calendar which has the larger size sticker sheet which is this size and i'll get into this in a minute um or this option so she's got days 1 through 13 in here and days 14 through 25 and I'm going to read the back to you because she does take the time to like heart write a heartfelt message that goes out with each one of these. And she wrote, thank you for purchasing the second Advent sticker collection offered in my shop. Although I cannot stop you from opening every envelope the first day, I ask that you do not share any sheet early on social media to keep the holiday surprise magical for all those who purchased a set. However, I would love to see your reactions each day in December leading up to Christmas. So that is what I'm going to do. I am going to pop into my Chappy Chats every day in December leading up to Christmas to share these beautiful goodies. I also have an advent calendar coming from Caitlin of Caitlin Plans. I'm trying to think. I had one from Allie Edwards, but I opened all of those for myself because I had to set up my December daily cart. Um, if I have any other advent calendars, I will share them in my Instagram story, so be sure to follow me over there. Okay, so just to show you this gorgeous freebie, it's huge. This um, says, thank you for generous support of my small shop. As a very special thank you for your purchase, I wanted to include this exclusive freebie in your happy mail. Your purchase not only helps me support my family, but it allows me to grow my business and expand my art into areas that were previously just dreams. I hope every item I created brings you endless amounts of whimsy and joy. And they do, 100%. Mission accomplished, Jojo. So this freebie is if you spend $100 or more in her shop with the new release. So that is including shipping and taxes because she is just super generous. Not going to be hard to do given all of the new items that she's released and the goodies she re-released. So that is everything from Jojo. The freebie, the calendar, mini set, modern set, the gingerbread houses and then the floral advent calendar so huge thank you jojo for sending these to me i am so excited to use them that is everything in this flip through friday haul my friends i hope you enjoyed this video as always if you've got any questions 
be sure to leave them in the comments. So I'll just add a link for Jojo Shop and for the pattern papers. So if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my content. And I will see you in the next video. Have a super amazing weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Remember that you are enough and I love you. Bye friends.